Hey guys, it's Claire, the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today we're gonna to talk about the cutest thing ever, and that is miniature fiddly figs. So I don't think there's anything cuter than a miniature thing. And can I just insert some footage here and some pictures of our miniature horse Trigger? So my girls and I got miniature horse Trigger from a animal shelter. He was actually a rescue and he is just the cutest thing ever. His little halter, his little mini saddle, his little mini bridle is just precious. And when it comes to plants, there are also miniature plants. And that is where we get dwarf or miniature fiddly figs, which is a dwarf or a bamboo you know, fiddly fig. Now there's a few reasons that you would want to know whether your plant is a regular or a dwarf fiddly fig. First of all, you're going to want to know how big it's going to get. Just like before you get a puppy, you want to make sure it's not going to get too big. Before you get a plant, you want to make sure that it's not going to grow up to be huge. Or, you know, if you have a small space or you want it on top of your desk or your countertop, you know, a dwarf might be an appropriate plant for you to get. So one of the funny things about dwarf or, you know, miniature fiddly figs is a lot of times they're not labeled properly. So if you go to the store and you buy a plant you may have just had it labeled as a regular fiddly fig and then later you realize that it's actually a bambino or maybe it's labeled as a bambino and it's labeled wrong i've seen it go both ways sometimes people in our facebook group post you know that they have this plant and they want to know if it's a dwarf or a regular and so the group is very helpful in identifying which is which so if you're confused go to our facebook group and post pictures of your plant and the experts there can easily identify which is which so let me just walk you through some of the differences so bambino leaves really tend to be smaller and like more round than the big long um, adult fiddly fig leaves and so they're kind of smaller rounder and they just look a little bit different so we'll insert some pictures of bambino or dwarf leaves so that you can see the difference and then we'll also insert some pictures of the kind of more oval or fiddle leaf shaped leaves and so the reason a fiddly fig is called fiddle leaf is because it resembles the shape of a fiddle whereas a dwarf is really rounder smaller shorter leaves if that makes any sense so the plants are really the same when it comes to, you know, they look the same except for the shape of the leaves. So that's really the telltale of how you're going to be able to tell one from the other. The other is that a dwarf isn't going to get as big as fast. So it's not going to grow as tall. It's not going to, um, you know, get as large as fast as a normal fiddly fig tree will. So that may be one way that you learn that you maybe thought you were buying a regular fiddly fig, but it's actually a dwarf or a bambino is because it's not getting big. It's not getting taller. It's not branching. It's just not growing as big as fast. And so sometimes in the Facebook group, people will post that, hey, what's wrong with my plant? It's not growing very fast. It's not getting big. Well, it's actually a dwarf or a bambino and it's never going to get quite as large. The reason that you want to know is first of all, you want to know how big they're going to get. Second of all, the care is slightly different. And so let's talk about the differences between care now. So I'll say that the care is basically the same, right? So you don't want to overwater. You want to give a lot of light and you want to fertilize the exact same that you would with a regular fiddly fig. But I think that bambino or dwarfs need a little bit less light because they're not growing as quickly and because they're not going to get as big they can do better in a little bit lower light conditions you still probably want to give as much light as possible but if you have an area where you're not going to have you know the abundant light that you really need for a large fiddly fig a dwarf may do okay so it's kind of trial and error there but i would say possibly a little less light but then the other thing is they're not growing as fast and they're not as big so they're not going to use as much water so you're you're going to want to really protect against overwatering even more than you would with a giant fiddle leaf fig. And so be careful with overwatering for these. You know, they're smaller. Sometimes they're in larger pots. Um, you know, for the size of the plant, the pot is relatively larger than if you got a large fiddle leaf fig and it's in, you know, maybe a 12 or a 14 inch pot. A bambino could be in a six or an eight um, inch pot, but it's really a lot smaller of a plant and a lot less transpiration is happening. So they use less water. So just be careful with over for watering even more than you would with a larger plant. But generally the requirements are the same. So they like a lot of light, they don't like a lot of water. They're gonna want a 312 fertilizer so you could use fiddle leaf fig plant food on them. Um, they like a light fast draining soil. So the fiddle leaf fig soil that we've created is perfect for a dwarf or a bambino. Um, and you just wanna keep an eye on them. You know, they're susceptible to spider mites, um, to, you know, different insects like that. You're gonna wanna be careful. They don't like drafts. They don't like to get too cold. They like it warm. They like it humid, but um, I have a whole vid video on the humidity that fiddle leaf figs need. One bonus tip I want to give you is a lot of people ask us, are dwarfs the same?
same as bambinos? Yes, they're exactly the same. It's a synonym for the same plant. So all dwarfs or bambinos are just miniature fiddle leaf figs. They are super cute. They're so much fun. I like to have some of each and they make a great gift, whereas it's sometimes hard to give a large fiddle leaf fig to somebody. Um, like I'm for Mother's Day, I'm giving my mom a little bambino and it's super cute. It's in a little gold pot. So I think they make even better gifts than a large fiddle leaf fig. So check out the links below if you want to give somebody a little fiddle leaf fig gift set. We have links for everything that you would need, like, you know, the pot, the fertilizer, the soil, um, you know, and the plants themselves you can buy on Amazon. They turn out super cute. So I hope this video was helpful to identify a dwarf versus a regular fiddle leaf fig and some of the different care distinctions there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.